Welcome to this week's newsletter and this is an exciting one as it is my first ever video newsletter to the community. Today is an opportune time for me to be able to reflect with our St Bernard's community on the 2022 theme for International Women's Day, hashtag Break the Bias. In our assembly on Friday with our students and staff, we will extend this theme to exploring questions such as what is respect, what does it look like in practice, what does it sound like and what does it ask of me as a member of the St Bernard's community. But before all of this, for me, the important question rises up, and that is why. I'm, actually, I'm acutely aware that I hold a privileged position in this school as a female leader in an all-boys school. I do not take on this responsibility lightly, and I'm proud of how our community works together to form young men of character and strength, with the courage to call out bad behaviour that lessens the dignity of another when we encounter it. I am also aware that sometimes we do fall short, but this is life presenting us with precious opportunities to learn from these experiences. Our young men, your sons, have the capacity for thoughtful self-reflection, empathy and compassion, yet they're facing a society where the definition of masculinity may challenge or diminish the significance of some of these important values. I'm sure that some of what society portrays as strong men clashes with the views, upbringing and behaviours of our boys. This places pressure on young minds during critical periods of formation. This is the time we need to support our young men to become strong enough to be countercultural. In 2022, International Women's Day invites us to imagine a gender equal world, a world free of bias, stereotypes and discrimination, a world that's diverse, equitable and inclusive, a world where difference is valued and celebrated. And we know that for some women today, this is not their reality. A world where all people feel safe and are respected. Individually, we're all responsible for our own thoughts and actions, all day and every day. We need to each individually take on the responsibility to break the bias in our communities, in our classrooms, in our interactions with our friends, in our social settings and in our workplaces. We need to act in ways that restores hope to all people, that supports equity for all, that challenges injustices and the barriers that hold people back from things that are their basic human rights. We need to become a voice for the voiceless and do what our college motto calls us to do, discare et agare, to learn and to do. If we see and know about injustice that exists or disrespect that is being shown, then we must have the courage to act and do what is right. In our year of culture, may we be the builders and architects and contributors of the future, evolving a legacy that can be looked back on with pride. I wish everyone a happy International Women's Day for 2022. Thank you.